Hey y'all, I'm Sabrina Sages of Style with Sages and welcome to my YouTube channel where I will be sharing style and lifestyle content. Y'all, this is my first YouTube video and I'm so excited. So thank y'all so much for tuning in. Today, I wanna lay the foundation and talk all about personal style. Developing your personal style takes time. And honestly, I know it might even be a bit overwhelming, so I put together a list of six steps to guide you through the process. Before we get into those six steps, let's talk about why developing your personal style is so important. When I think about personal style, it is more than what we wear. Yes, it's how we express ourselves through our clothes, but it's also how we express ourselves through our hairstyle, beauty, and accessory choices. Having a strong understanding of our personal style helps to build our confidence. Y'all, when you look good, you feel good. And I strongly believe that. When you are comfortable and confident in what you wear, you move different and that is noticeable. Next, it helps to save us time and money. We are not sorting through a bunch of clothes that we don't wear in our closet, nor are we shopping situationally or unintentionally. It also helps to keep us in check and prevents us from being easily influenced by trends and the style of others. And y'all, with social media, that is all too easy with us being inundated with what people are buying and wearing. It's also a sustainability practice because when we love what we wear, we are keeping the clothes we love longer. And it's just a practical way to take care of our planet. That's how I see it. Lastly, it helps to build a cohesive wardrobe. And this is something you will hear me speak about a lot on this channel because my goal is to build a cohesive wardrobe that I love and inspire other women to also build a cohesive wardrobe they love. And when you have clothes in your closet that mix and match well, that complement each other, that are versatile, it solves decision fatigue and it makes getting dressed so much easier. Now, let's go over the six steps that I put together to help you develop your personal style. Step one is to audit your closet. I know this is not fun and can be daunting, but take inventory of your closet. Start by determining what you own and what you actually wear versus what you don't. What items bring you the most joy and what items make you feel your best? Are there certain tops, bottoms, shoes, accessories that you're always reaching for? Think about why you're always reaching for these items. Think about why you love them and how they make you feel. Once you've determined that, think about if your favorite items have anything in common. Perhaps you are drawn to an oversized fit. Perhaps you're drawn to tailored silhouettes or certain colors, fabrics, textures, or patterns. Are there certain style categories you notice? Classic, edgy, sporty. Make a list of these for your reference. Also, yes, take this as a sign to clean out your closet. It's the top of the year and this is a perfect time for a fresh start. Part of life means outgrowing people, situations, places, and even your clothes, y'all. So I'm here to tell you to let go of whatever no longer reflects who you are in this season. Step two is to consider your lifestyle. And this one is so important. Think about how you spend your time during the week and if your closet truly serves the life that you lead. Do you work from home and live an active and social lifestyle? Do you commute to the office majority of the week? Are you a mom who desires functionality and fun? Ideally, your wardrobe should align with your lifestyle. So ask yourself, how do I spend majority of my time during the week? What activities do I engage in outside of work? Who am I usually around? These questions can help inform how you build your closet. The key takeaway here is majority of your wardrobe should suit how and where you spend majority of your time because that's how you'll get the most use out of them. Step three, source inspiration. This is the fun part. Leverage Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, and other forms of digital and print media to source inspiration. Is there someone's style you admire? And beyond people, are there cities, shapes, colors that inspire you? Perhaps there's an era in time that moves you, or certain music or TV shows. This is your opportunity to get creative and think outside the box. 
Once you've gathered your inspo, I recommend creating a mood board. You can create a Pinterest board and organize all of your photos so you have a visual of your style, aspirations in one place that you can reference whenever you need. Step four is to compare your closet to your mood board. Once you've created your personal mood board, analyze the inspo in comparison to the items you love in your closet. Are there any similarities? What aesthetics do you notice? Are there certain styles, colors, and silhouettes that are prevalent? Or maybe you notice there's a disconnect between your mood board and your closet. And that's okay, honestly. Performing this exercise will help determine where you are versus where you want to be. This step will help you identify wardrobe gaps that exist. And now you'll have an idea of items that you can strategically purchase and introduce into your wardrobe to fill those gaps. Because this year, we are shopping smarter, we are shopping more intentionally, and we are building a closet that we love. Step five, develop a signature. Pay attention to those items and accessories that you are always gravitating towards. Do you have a signature touch that brings your whole look together? And this does not have to be something grand. Think sunglasses, hat, nail art, a lip color, hairstyle. For example, I love a red lip and that is part of my signature style. We know Alicia Keys for her braids. We know June Ambrose for her love of hats and sunglasses. We know Tracy Ellis Ross for her hair and also her love of suits. So take some time to think about what your signature touch looks like. Step six is to experiment. Once you've assessed your closet, created your mood board, identified your style goals, now it's time to experiment with your personal style. And y'all, don't sleep on what you already have. Using inspo from your mood board, shop your closet and put together and recreate looks based on your style goals with items you already own. Throughout your style journey, consider mixing high and low, new and old, thrifting, vintage shopping to see what feels best for you. The key takeaway here is great style is built over time and it takes practice. Y'all, I cannot stress this enough. <laughs> when you see someone's style you admire, when their look appears effortless, that's because they've invested all of that time in the front end to think about what they love, to explore, to figure out what silhouettes suit them the best. So give yourself grace to explore and develop your own style. And remember that your personal style is also subject to change. Your style that you have now may not be the same style that you have in one year or five years. So give yourself grace. All right, y'all, those are the six steps to developing your personal style. And honestly, the best advice that I can give you is to not put yourself in a box and to be open to trying new things. These steps are simply a tool to guide you through your style development and evolution. But ultimately, style is all about having fun and doing what feels best for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my first YouTube video. If you made it this far, thank you. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and pull up on me in the next video. Peace.